lovers, they were making Persian herbed rice with fish or sabzi polo using four different kinds of vegetables, including one pound of Chinese chives, one bunch of cilantro, one bunch of parsley, and one bunch of dill. You want to chop all of these vegetables so that each piece is about a centimeter long. Please keep in mind that you must use fresh vegetables for this dish. Next, you want to marinate your codfish in lemon juice and onion juice for about 6 to 12 hours. You may use other kinds of fish such as salmon for this dish. Use a large pot to bring 6 to 8 cups of water to a boil. Once you have done that, add 1 tablespoon of sea salt to it. I love using this rice cooker for rice and pasta dishes as you have seen in my previous videos, but of course you can use any non-stick Teflon pan for this dish. Rinse 3 cups of basmati rice and add it to your pot once the water has come to a boil. We're going to allow the rice to become semi-cooked on medium-high heat which will take about 15 to 20 minutes. Later, we're going to drain it and steam the rice for an additional 20 to 30 minutes. Keep in mind that the age and quality of your rice affects its cooking time, so you might have to cook it for less or more time. After 15 minutes, use a spoon to scoop some grains from the water. Break one grain in half and make sure it is al dente. Turn off the heat and pour the rice into a colander to drain and set aside. To make Persian tadig, which means bottom of the pot for this dish, you want to pour 6 to 7 tablespoons of olive oil into the pot. Once it starts to sizzle, Add 1 to 2 matzo breads, which you can replace it with thin slices of potatoes or any kind of flatbread that's available to you. I really like using lavash, which is a kind of flatbread for this tadik. Combine all of your chopped vegetables and use a layering method to layer your rice and vegetables. You can definitely combine your rice and vegetables in a separate dish and just directly pour it in your pot. Persian herb rice with fish is a popular Persian mixed rice that is usually made with basmati rice steamed with chopped fresh herbs. The traditional herbs used in this rice are Chinese chives, cilantro, parsley, and dill. I love the flavor of fresh herbs mixed with fluffy basmati, so I prepare it as a side dish all the time. However, it is particularly amazing with fish. Growing up, this dish was a tradition in our house for Nauru's or Persian New Year, which is celebrated with the arrival of spring. This dish is a New Year favorite in Iran. But bearing in mind that Nauru's has been celebrated since the beginning of civilization. It is a new tradition because in an ancient times, due to limited transportation, only those with access to bodies of water would be able to harvest fish. This means the rest of the population must have prepared different dishes with the ingredients that were available to them in their own region. Persian New Year is celebrated every year to signify the beginning of spring and most of the dishes served during Nauru's holidays have herbs as a symbol of rebirth and fish that represents life. Persian New Year has been celebrated in Iran since the time of Zoroaster. Besides Iran, this ancient ceremony is celebrated in several other countries that used to be part of the old Persian Empire. These celebrations have remained practically unchanged through time. The preparation to welcome spring and the start of a new year begins in the month of Isfand the last month of Iranian calendar, which falls between February and March. This year, Nauru's or Persian New Year is celebrated on March 20th. 
couple of weeks before the arrival of spring, Persians sprout unpelted wheat called sabze, but sprouting some other grains and legumes such as barley, lentils, and mung beans are also common. Meanwhile, if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Persian New Year celebrations continue for 13 days with Eid Dideni, which means holiday visits and catching up with family and friends. But due to the current global situation, I hope everyone takes the necessary precautions and avoids creating large crowds. Using the other end of your spoon, poke some holes into the rice. These are the steam wens to allow the steam to come through. Additionally, add 1 fourth of a cup water to prevent the rice from becoming dry in the steaming process. Steam your rice for about 20 to 30 minutes to achieve that perfect Persian steamed rice. After you've marinated your fish, eliminate any remaining onion juice and lemon juice and prepare your seasoned flour. I actually bought this seasoned flour from a local grocery store and because it lacks uh, turmeric powder and black pepper, I added those two spices. You can prepare your own seasoned flour at home by just mixing flour with all the spices that you prefer. Heat a large frying pan on medium-high heat and pour in about 5 to 6 tablespoons of vegetable oil. Coat the fish fillets in the seasoned flour and fry the fish. About 90 seconds each side, depending on the thickness of your fish fillets. You may cook your fish however you'd like, there are no rules. In fact, if I were using salmon instead of codfish, I would definitely roast it in the oven instead of frying it. And boom, my rice has cooked to perfection. That color looks truly phenomenal. I'm just adding one tablespoon of ghee, which you can replace with butter or vegetable oil. The flavor of ghee or butter truly elevates the quality of your Persian steamed rice. Persian's obsession with herbs in large quantities, fresh or dried, is no secret. You will find many dishes ranging from yogurt to stews to soups and rice dishes that incorporate at least one herb, or more often, a whole lot of them. Persian herb rice with fish is truly a celebration of herbs. Mounds of dill, parsley, cilantro, and chives are chopped and blended into the rice as it cooks. The end result is beautifully aromatic and visually pleasing, a dish that has won the heart of many people. As always, different traditions display variations in amounts and ratios, and in some cases, the addition of another herb called fenugreek. Persians rely mostly on the use of the plant's leaves, fresh or dried. Fenugreek gives off a strong yet sweet smell, and you may be surprised to learn that it's bitter in taste. When used in rice dishes or stews, it adds a very distinct depth and flavor. A word of caution, however, a little goes very far and too much of this herb will make your dish bitter and unpleasant. You may select a large tray or platter to place upside down on top of the pan and carefully and swiftly invert the rice onto the platter. There are many ways to serve this rice. You can keep the rice and tadig as is and place the fried fish on top. Or you can remove the tadik and place it on a separate plate while decoratively arranging the fish on top of the rice. Persian herb rice with fish is often served with Persian pickled garlic and bitter orange. Otherwise, a squeeze of lemon would also do the job. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. Please give it a thumbs up. 
subscribe to our channel, share it with your friends and family members, and follow us on social media platforms. I look forward to talking to you in my next video. Stay safe and take care.